All right, YouTube, how you all doing today? I'm here to um, show you another project that I was dilly and dallying with, if I can use that word as a term. Um, I cannot remember what video I was watching because I watch a lot of videos. And I came across a video and she had did some really nice little things with the um, corrugated board cards, uh, card box envelopes the envelopes that comes in that box you all know what i'm trying to say it's late um and so i wanted to give it a try i thought to give it a try because i do have um these envelopes and i don't do anything with them so i decided that i was going to make some um pockets for some things that's going to go out for christmas and let me show you what i came up with um very fun 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 project never would have thought to use the envelopes in this way if i wouldn't have seen the video and i i do apologize but i can't remember whose video that was and i went back to look in my history but like i said i look at too many videos so i guess it really it, it erased itself all right so here it goes this is the first one the first two that i made let me just do two at a time this is the first two i made this paper pad that I used was um, my man's eye, Santa Claus, and I was gifted this by VL Balling One, uh, Veronica. Hey, Veronica. She gave me this in a swap um, last year in December, and this paper is just gorgeous. It's really, really nice. It's double-sided, and I really, really like the colors. Um really 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 nice all right so that's what i used for this one so what i did was i took some burgundy wine i think that's the name of this paper wine um card stock i matted it on the envelope first thing i did was let me go back i sealed the envelope sealed the envelope and then i cut as my grandma say a sliver of the edge just to open it up okay and then on the front of the envelope, I put the wine card stock and I put matted some of the pattern paper out that collection. Now, what I did on this one, I put tool, wine tool. Oh, that is so pretty. I like working with tool. Um, so I put tool on this one, but on this one, I just left it plain with the script paper in the background. So I matted the script paper. Then I took the Noel paper. And I just tore it in half. I put half at the top, half at the bottom, and then I inked the edges with uh, Tim Holtz Aged Mahogany. Love this. You see how nice it came out? Just really, really aged. It looks beautiful. I love it. And then I took some stickles, red uh, Christmas red stickles. And I stickled under the Happy Holidays, and I stickled the string going down to the ornaments. Came out really, really nice. I like the way that effect looks. Okay. Then for the deer, I pulled out something that I've had in my stash. Oh, it's been about five or six years. Um, I pulled out my Sizzix Bigs die. What is the name of this die? Um, it does not say what the name of it is, but it's just a deer and some, oh, let me look on the die, maybe, yes, reindeer with antlers, that is the, um, this is the die, reindeer with antlers, really, really nice, you can cut chipboard and everything with it, so I took lightweight chipboard and I cut out this reindeer, isn't he adorable? And then I took the Age Mahogany Distress Ink and I inked it all the way around. And then on the antler, what I did was they have stars in this paper. So I took the stickles and I put a dab of stickles all through the antlers ears. Oh, that's just beautiful. It came out really, really nice. I like it. So this is my first set that I did. Okay. Now, let me show you the second set that I did. And I did these basically the same. Um, let me show you the paper that I used. I used uh, In the Winter 
the winter in the woods stack. Now this paper pad, I wasn't able to um, get the 12 by 12s and all the embellishments. For some reason, the Joanne fabrics in my community, they, um, they dropped the ball somehow or another. But when I finally saw it in the store, they only had this one little pad left and I think um, some stickers or something. But everybody was showing this last season. So this is the stack. Everybody's familiar with that. All right. So the, again, I took the envelope, sealed it, cut it open at the top. And what I did was I used some, I matted, I took one of the printed pages and I matted it, but I um, took some hot glue and glued some of this ribbon. This is a ribbon that was in the bin over the uh, summer um, summertime at Joann's and they were a dollar. And they had them in white, cream, and then like a beige. And I got all three, but I used up all the white. So I took that and I high glued it around. And then I matted um, the paper on top. And then I took some uh, brown cardstock and matted a piece. I inked it. And these are um, Quick Quotes powder um, chalk inks. That's what I chalk uh, inked it with with the quick quotes it looked really really nice and so then I just tore it and then inked all of that this is a cutout that came out the pack this is from the Martha Stewart um, branch punch that I use all the time those branches this flower is just a flower that was in my stash I didn't have for a long time so I thought it went well with that I brought that out and then this right here is like a little circle that I punched out of the, uh, some of the pattern paper in the pack and again, some branches. I inked it up. Came out really, really nice. So I did both of these kind of like the same. They came out really nice. So I'm going to use these um, for, uh, I'm going to stuff them with some goodies and a card. And um, this, this is going to be some gifts for um, a few people that I know. All right. So tell me what you think. Like if you like. Leave me a comment. Um, as you see, Christmas is on its way. And so I would like to see some of the things that you all are working on for Christmas as well. Um, always welcome new subscribers to my channel. Till next time, you all be blessed.